Hey guys, Ralph here. Welcome to True Power Health on this fabulous Friday here in Connecticut. <clears throat> Getting a late start today, guys, but anyway. Um, real life gets in the way. My cleaning lady and errands and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, you saw the thumbnail. Phil, jeez, man. I got to say it doesn't surprise me. Very easy for me to say that now after it's all come out, but I've been saying it for years. I think this guy had big time problems. Now, <coughs> I'm not hating on Phil. I think there is a nice guy in there somewhere because he can be very rude and condescending and elitist and he, he can be nasty. But anyway, I did a video on him last week, two weeks ago, doesn't matter, that he looked terrible. He looked a hundred years old and all of a sudden this stuff is coming out doesn't surprise. He's got, he's got a lot on his mind, man. A lot on his mind. Uh, the stress level must be ridiculous. Now, I'm not going to go into it, you know, but as it turns out, and we've known this for a long time, and everybody from the PGA Tour and everybody has just looked the other way, but this man's a compulsive gambler. I mean, I'm not saying anything, you know, he admitted it. He says he's getting therapy for it and all, all this. He's... But he was in, if you can believe what you read, on the New York Post today, he was in to a legal betting source for a billion, making a billion dollars worth of bets over the years, losing a hundred million. Now, let me talk here. Now, if we are talking his net worth depending on who you list, there's about $350 million, okay? Now, if most people's net worth is not necessarily liquid cash, that's homes, he has a um, businesses, he has his own plane, he has his own helicopter, so that's not like he has you know, $400 million just in the bank. Now, if you can believe this, what's called it, this article in the New York Post today, and this guy's book. Now, the guy that wrote the book admits Phil ruined his life. All he had to do was testify for him at his trial, and but the guy went to jail for 10 years. So, you want to take that with a grain of salt. That's fine. That's fine. But he claims that Phil would, re would constantly make bets of $200,000 up to $400,000 bets. Now, if he's doing this, guys, he's going through some cash. And, and, okay? Now, I'm going to try to collect, connect the dots here. He accepted an enormous amount of money from the Saudi Arabian government to be the face for their new live tour, which is fine, okay? But it didn't make sense to me because when he left the tour, he's slamming the PGA every chance they can get, and this is a guy that the PGA couldn't have been nicer to him for, for, what, 30 years? They gave him the American dream and more? I mean, $400 million net worth with planes? Everybody loved him? Who is he slamming? But as it turns out, guys, he was cash poor. He needed cash. Now, one of two things could have happened. He just grabbed the cash to take care of his debts. And let, or the Saudis came to him and said, look, will take care of your debts if you be our front man, the face of the tour, and slam the PGA, because ultimately they wanted PGA, and they won. They won. I think they got to finish it too, but that's conspiracy theory. But guys, look, this guy has had trouble his whole life with his weight. He's a compulsive eater. He's a food addict. Now, many of us are. If you're following this video, many of us are. 
okay? We need food to live, so obviously, easy to get addicted to. But this, this is just a fact, okay? I think he's also an alcoholic. If you look at his face closely, it's just this road map of broken red veins on his nose and everything. Guys, that's for booze. Now, I'm not trying to pile on here, guys. I'm trying to talk, this is a health-related thing. But this guy has compulsions, and quite frankly, I'm glad he's taken care of. That was his only message to the allegations. I have had trouble with gambling in the past, and I am taking care of it with ther therapy and blah, blah, blah. Okay? Which, I don't wish it on anybody. I really don't. And I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt to think that there is a good guy in there. Okay? Because many times he comes off as not being a good guy. And the venom that has been spewed at him from the PGA, I mean, Rory McIlroy, I mean, they're just killing the guy. I can only, and the media is just reveling in this. I can only think he wasn't the nicest guy behind the scenes. So, anyway, be that as it may. But, okay, he looked looks 100 years old. That was the uh, title of one of my videos about him. He's on diets, crazy diets, where he goes 5, 10, 15 days and all he drinks is coffee. No wonder he looks terrible. Guys, th this, is a, this is a compulsion. This is a compulsion. This is not a healthy guy. Now, again, we'll give him the benefit of being a nice guy. I hope, don't wish ill on anyway. I hope it takes care of itself. Me, I would immediately suspend all golf activities, which he probably, if he needs money, he probably can't, but absolutely 1,000%, put him on my juice cleanse, get all this toxic crap out of him with the therapy and all that, and start again next year. That's what I would do. But he didn't ask me. <laughs> anyway. Phil, God bless you. I hope it works out. In the meantime, all of you, eat and drink your fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Not the fake stuff, true power. Love you all.